Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Today, in this video, we're going to be working on um, the character and the character's assignment points and stuff. I thought I'd take a little break from item and stuff and just go ahead and do this. Because uh, then we can kind of make the character a little stronger, make the combat more fun to test out. And it's a good thing to have. And I'm going to change up this level up thingy as well so it works properly. Uh, but before we get started, as always, please check out the description box. A bunch of useful links to other playlists, especially the C++ stuff. You should check that out. Uh, also, uh, you can follow me on Twitter and check out my support page and go into Discord if you want and join me there. Uh, also, drop a like and subscribe if you want. Otherwise, let's keep going. Um, so, what I have is I have a menu option for level up. I'm going to actually remove that now. So, it's going to be gone okay and four is going to be inventory and assign stat points is going to be at three so i'm going to go ahead and and just uh, remove four completely i'm control exit actually not going to completely remove it it's going to control exit um control x it meaning i copied it uh, because i'm going to have to paste it somewhere now to make the character level up if we go into character.cpp here and we look at what the hell we have we have our level up add exp thing going right here add exp okay now let me just paste everything in here let's see what it was case i can remove that um okay so that's cool i don't want to see out in here so i'm not going to do that um let me do a let me do this as a boolean add exp okay so what it, the point is that if i level up if the system levels me up right if i notices that i reached more exp than uh, the max or the the next the requirement then i'm going to level up and then it's going to return true and then i'm going to print this out outside in the system instead all right so i'm going to do this i'm just going to actually remove all this i'm going to say if this actually what I can do I can just paste all this stuff in here okay if this exp equals experience then this level up blah 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 and I return true otherwise I will return false and then we'll add stat points and everything yeah actually we just did everything in one little function instead so I'm gonna remove that from character as well can level up can be gone so add exp itself is going to make sure that if I level up, it's going to tell me by returning true. And I can check that. I don't have to check it, but I can check it. So there we go. Now we have that happening right there. It's going to level me up automatically. And the reason for that is when I have this uh, beautiful little game, this little XP bar here, let me just show you. Um, let me show you if it runs properly. Yeah, we'll see errors as well. No, this little bar I have here, when it reaches the end and one past the end, What's going to happen is that um, basically uh, basically it's going to crash because the string is going to be too long and it's going to be complaining about that. Okay, So that's not something we want. Now I'm going to do while here because while this XP XP next I'm going to keep, keep doing all this stuff and uh, I'm going to have a little I'm going to have a little boolean here. Bool level up equals false and level up level up equal true in here and I'm just gonna return level up alright because the thing is if I return several times in a while loop it's gonna return it's gonna exit out of the while loop and I don't want it to do that I want it to if we gain a whole bunch of XP like crazy amounts then it's gonna keep leveling the character up and set it to true and then at the end we'll return true but if we never leveled up uh, it'll return false okay so that's kind of how that works so it's a it's a cool little thing we can do um, now 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 if I go up to the character thing here and I'll set exp to zero here uh, and then I set these to two as well I was just testing stuff out so we'll just set this to one again all of these and I'll give the character like 100 gold and maybe five stat points or three stat points to set 
as a level one thingy. Okay, and that's cool. Now I just gotta see if I'm recording here. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, so that's cool. Uh, my idea was to actually just start off the stat point assignment thingy, but we have to check this out actually. We have to see if this is this is working. Um, lost the XP, boom, 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 no problems. Uh, cool, cool. Let's go into game state. Or if we, where do we do that actually? If I, if I just, what happens if I just add a bunch of EXP here? Um, this add EXP like a thousand. Get okay, thousand EXPs, boom. Let's see what the hell happens to this. Okay, so I'm level five and still have some EXP left. Okay, cool. All right, that worked. That worked. Now, what happens if we go into travel travel menu and we go all the way to the right and we find an enemy here somewhere? Okay, enemy. Now I have name test my HP. Oh yeah, okay, because I haven't assigned stuff to it. Okay, but I have seven stat points. If I begin the combat, the enemy is crazy strong, 55. I'm gonna be dead in in one second, right? So there we go. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, so that did work. Did work. It's just that we don't have any assignments. So let's start off by making an assignment state. I was thinking, let's make a little state here. Add a new class. Call it character stat menu state. So it's a long name, character stat menu state. But that's cool. Doesn't really matter. Um, as long as we know. What the hell's going on there? So, okay, we'll do okay. I should have done, damn it, I should have, wait, 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 wait. Uh, class, let's see how we have it here. Character creator, so we have public state as well. All right, I'm just gonna copy all of this actually in here. I'm gonna copy all of this basically. There we go and put it in here character stat menu state the stat menu state okay cool so there we go now we did a bunch of stuff uh, in the old one and we can just do that create character can go to hell print menu update menu I guess uh, wait why do I have that combat state Print menu, update menu, okay. I don't know what the hell, why I have update here as well. Let me see if that was a requirement in state. Update is a requirement. It is. Oh, obviously, yeah, update is update. Okay, okay, fine. I get it, I get it. Uh, update, of course. Um, then we'll just save that. Uh, let's do that, okay. So. Let's see, let's get all the parameters here. We don't need max characters. We don't need character list. What we do need is character uh, and state. So I'm just gonna copy actually all of this, put it in here, um, just so it looks, no, uh, just so it looks like it should. Wait, what the hell? Um, like that, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then we'll just copy these to. I know this is kind of weird. This isn't really nice, but that's what we got to do. So, max characters. I'm not going to need these. I'm going to have to change this up to character, character states. And then I need a. There we go. Go back to combat state dot h, preferably the h file. Where is it? There we go. Uh, so I need character, and I need character states. Okay, cool. That's what I need. Soon done. We're soon done. I just need to make sure these are correct. Okay, so there we go. So we have a character pointer reference, like that, and then we have a state pointer states, and then we're setting those as well. And we got print menu everything. Cool. All right, that's fine. I should close everything else just to not make everything so uh, so cluttered here. Let's close everything here. Whoops, I'm just pinning everything down. 
close that, close that, close that, close that, close that. Okay, so we just have these two working. That's fine. Um, character, character, cool. Cool. And then if I look at I'm going to say CPP. Let me look at this. Okay, that looks fine. Print menu. I should probably use the combat state stuff. So the print menu and the update menu and the update. Boom. Okay, cool. Whew. That's crazy. That's crazy. And then I'm just going to have one case here for now and the default case. And we will clear those out good choice and then we'll have that there is fine copy this paste it in here so it's kind of pain making these uh, these uh, states but you know you got to do it so at least we have it set up now it should look like this the H file should look like this okay and the CPP file should look like this all right whoops what the hell did I just do okay there we go cool guys and girls sorry about that slow video sometimes you gotta be a little slow to get what the hell's going on and then we're gonna have to fix the menu as well we'll do that eventually this has to be an error error message uh, so let's just see if that works GUI message error okay cool not a valid option there we go so that will give me that beautiful GUI message I will update it and everything's fine we have our switch case uh, which will just do like that um, we'll get the menu bar see out let me just fix this because it's bugging me GUI menu title and what's the title gonna be? It's gonna be assign a stat point menu, maybe something like that. Um, something like that. And then we'll get the menu bar going right there. And then we'll have a C out GUI menu divider 40. Base just like that, and we'll do the same thing. We'll remove the C out, and we'll do the same thing at the bottom, like this. And here we'll have a GUI menu item. So the first item is going to be what do I want to add? Well, I want to add to strength and uh, and that will be one and then we'll have a menu item minus one to go back go back to menu minus one go quit to menu maybe strength stuff like that boom 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 uh, cool so minus one this set quit true and then case one like that case one something something so then that's gonna add stuff to the players uh, stuff the player stats cool so at least we have the state created we'll work on it in the next video that's coming this is a little longer video than usual but thanks for sticking with me anyway I really appreciate all the support and stuff uh, again check out the description box bunch of useful links all that stuff consider dropping a like subscribing Follow me on Twitter and stuff as well if you can. That really helps me out. But thank you so much for all the support. Hope this helped. Hope this was fun. And we'll continue in the next one, all right? I'll see you guys and girls, girls uh, then, all right? Bye-bye.